Hi all, welcome to the 2023 Battlefront Christmas video. Thanks all for watching and we're going to talk about what happened in 2023, what we're going to do in 2024 and even something for 2025. So here we go. 2023 has been an excellent year for Battlefront. We've produced some products that have been very, very popular out there. Uh, we started with Red Dawn at the start of the year, VDV landing in America. Uh, then we moved on to Berlin, the end of World War II, with German and Soviet books and lots of new releases. And then we moved on to Nordic and NATO forces back again for World War III Team Yankee. In Nordic forces, I got my new army, I got my Swedish army and the S-Tanks, which I'm very happy to have. And uh, in NATO forces, we've got lots of more new forces including the French and many others and the new Leclerc tank. So it's been a great year for all these products. I'd also like to mention we've had the NAM month and we're currently in the Great War month. I'd like to mention our specialist range partners. They do a great job for us. If you can, please visit their stores. If you can't, visit their websites. It's really worthwhile. Let's move to 2024 and what's coming. We've got lots of cool new tanks that have some have come out already and more that are lots more that are going to come like the mouse and is3 etc t29 one of my favorites and we wanted to integrate them into flames of war and we've come up with this scheme it's called late war leviathans you're going to get a free pdf in march on how to play those tanks in in world war ii with your regular forces it's a fun new way to play and it gives you a chance to play with all the kind of trial and experimental vehicles that came out or didn't come out. 2024 is also the 80th anniversary of D-Day. I was having a curry with the Restless Kaiser earlier this year and he suggested why don't you bring back the old army deals as an anniversary thing. I said what a good idea. So we have. Um, we brought back four army deals um, for D-Day release, the US Armoured, British 7th Armoured, the Panzer Lear and the 21st Panzer. The 21st Panzer is fully remastered with great new miniatures as well as a full range coming out. World War III Team Yankee. We've been working on a project we haven't wanted to talk to for almost a year now and it's about a new way of doing hard plastic infantry. We've started with two sprues for the Soviets and two sprues for the Americans. This does, for the Soviets, does all the infantry and heavy weapons, and for the Americans does their infantry and Marines. So World War III Soviets and Americans in July will have hard plastic infantry. We're really pleased how they come out and there's also gonna be a new starter set for World War III with these two forces and plastic infantry in it. It's very exciting as this opens the door for lots of new things for us as a company. Back to Flames of War, mid-war is here to stay. Wayne's been working on a 200 plus page book called The Pacific 1942 to 1943. With it comes out three army deals, Japanese, US Marines and the new forces, British Far East forces. Also Battlefield in the Box is coming back for the Pacific with the ranges that you want to see. The last thing for 2024 is really our biggest reveal. A whole new game is coming out. It's called Clash of Steel. It's set in an alternative history where World War II ended in 1944 and the unthinkable happens. It starts again in 1948. It's a whole new game that focuses on tank versus tank combat. It's gonna come out in three waves. The first wave is Operation Unthinkable and it comes out in April. It uses the core Flames of War rules and it's gonna start with two starter sets, American versus Soviet and British versus German. Please note the starter sets have everything you need to play the game. They have all the tanks and vehicles, but they have the rules, they have the scenario, 
They even have the victory point counters in them, which you need for this special game. To help ensure that no one nation or tank can dominate the battlefield, Battlefront has created a new system where missions are dynamically generated by randomly drawing a mission setup card, a mission instruction card, and then multiple objectives cards. These will allow players to score victory points during the course of the game and allowing a force to potentially get wiped off the field of battle, but still win the game, even though it's Pyrrhic. With this system, players need to balance the desire to knock out the enemy's forces, but still remember to play the missions and score points. In addition to the great new starter sets, we will also have platoon boxes for all the new tanks, as well as the existing late war models that are included in Clash of Steel. From the massive German mouse to the British tank-killing tortoise, the American T-28 destroyer, and the heavy Soviet IS-3 tanks, and many, many more. We are here at Battlefront all really excited about Clash of Steel. If something's really come through all the play testing and all the games that all of us have been playing around the company all over the world, is that it's a fun, fun game. I, I almost guarantee you're going to enjoy it. So please get out there and give it a go. The last topic I got to cover is 2025. Early 2025 is early war. We're going to come out with early war with a massive bang. We're talking more than 20 plastic tanks and guns just for France 1940 Blitzkrieg. Also for France 1940, British, French and German hard plastic infantry. We're talking about doing this period properly and permanently. Coming with early war is two new starter sets, British versus German and French versus German, as well as three army deals and everything else that, that you need to play this period. I'm really personally excited about playing Charles de Gaulle and the Shah Bees wandering across the countryside. For 2024, there's even more stuff coming out. We can't cover everything in this video, you're just going to have to stay tuned. We are very excited about 2024. Clash of Steel is going to be a huge amount of fun. And everything else that's coming is going to be good. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. From, from us here and all of ours to you and all of yours, have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and roll good dice. Take care all.